morning everyone it's day three and this morning I was woken up to someone driving up my driveway I guess my neighbors lost their dog or something and so they were looking for him and last time he came up this way so apparently they thought that was a good idea to just drive up my driveway and wake me up but it's fine um, it's pretty cloudy today. I always say in Oregon whenever it's cloudy there's a 50-50 chance it'll rain even if it's not supposed to rain. So keep an eye on that. I had my breakfast already. I had some uh, mandarins and my Asian pear and some bread and I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm actually only doing three days at the dome this time because day four I have a special surprise I'm going to meet someone from Instagram that has a permaculture homestead so that'll be really exciting I've been following them for a while um, I was actually introduced to them through someone else and we started talking on Instagram and they live in Ashland, which is only about an hour away. And they have a dome greenhouse. So it'll be pretty cool to see what they're doing over there. Uh, I'll probably only be there about half a day. And then I'll come back that night. Um, but yeah, super exciting for tomorrow, day four. We'll get to go visit their permaculture that they have in Ashland. So Labor Day just passed and I got this new Coleman sleeping bag. It's called the Mount Ridge sleeping bag and it's a negative five rating. So I was getting a little bit cold in my other sleeping bag on the super cold nights, especially when it was like raining and stuff. And I kind of needed another sleeping bag anyway, just in case people come up, want to visit. And so I got this one. It's also a big and tall which I didn't necessarily need, but you also like take it apart, I guess, and use it as a blanket if you need to. But it says no snags, roll control, wrap and roll, whatever that stuff means. It has a five year warranty, machine washable. It's a little bit bigger than the one that I already had. And it was on sale. It was normally uh, $89.99. I got it for $74.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. I kind of needed another sleeping bag anyway. I wasn't necessarily looking for one, but when I saw this one, I already have a Coleman, another Coleman sleeping bag, and my cot that I have is Coleman too. And so I like the stuff that I have, so I decided I would just stick with them. Negative five degree sleeping bag, and hopefully it'll keep me a little bit warmer. Also an update on the greenhouse, the parachute that was kind of the summer parachute that didn't go down all the way. I bought another parachute that's eight feet larger. And so that should already be at the house now, but uh, I wasn't there when it came. So I got a bigger one that'll completely cover it. And then I also got some military combat boots um, that are more weather resistant. I've already gone through two pair of boots being up here. The bottoms just completely fall out of them. So I wanted to get some boots that were made to be more durable, more weather resistant, and can stand some of the outdoor stuff up here. So just to update on that. All right, so you guys probably know I'm doing the Four Agreement series. And we're on the fourth agreement which is always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. All right, so in this chapter, it talks about doing your best, of course, and it's saying to do no more and no less. And as I just said, your best is always changing from moment to moment. So that's really important to understand that if you're sick or you're not feeling well or you're feeling depressed, your best is gonna be a lot different than 
if you're feeling top of your game, that sort of thing. Also, as you build the habit of doing the four agreements, your best will get better and better. So as you practice this and repeat and just do it in your day-to-day -day life, your best will get better at that. You don't wanna overdo because you'll deplete your body and then the next time when you do your best, it won't be enough. But you don't want to underdo either because it'll cause um, yourself to have frustration and judgment, guilt, and regret towards yourself because you didn't do your best in that moment. If you do your best, you can't judge yourself and you won't suffer. So when your mind tries to hold you to the book of law, you'll know that you did your best and you won't suffer. Uh, do what you love, not because you expect a reward. And this is a really important one because if we're doing what we love and we do it to our best, we'll have um, a life worth living and we'll enjoy life a lot more. A lot of times we do things for the reward and then when we're doing them for the reward, we're not doing our best because we're not fully invested in it. So when you turn it around and do something that you love for you and not for the reward, then you can do your best and it's not depleting to yourself because it's something that you enjoy doing. When you do your best all the time, you will be happy because you enjoy what you're doing. Expressing what you are is taking action and action is living fully. So it mentioned um, like someone sitting on a couch and just watching TV all the time because they're scared to do what would truly make them happy. So if you take action, you're being your true self. Live in the moment and appreciate even the routine moments like taking a shower. So that's like being present and mindful. So when you take a shower, you can um, appreciate the water flowing down your body and the smell of the soap that you're using and the different temperature of the water and things like that. And you're really appreciating that moment instead of it just being a wasted 10 or 15 minutes in your day where you just did something routine and it didn't really matter. Do your best and if you mess up, start over. Action brings a full life. You can only be you when you do your best. You don't need acceptance from others. So like I said before, if you're doing something that you love and enjoy, it doesn't matter what others think because you're fulfilling your own life. Repetition is the only way that we learn things. So if you mess up, just try again. Repetition is how we literally learn everything. If we're talking about learning like English, learning how to walk, all of those different things you learn during repetition. You mess up, you start over, you do it again, you're a little better the next time, you keep trying. If you honor the four agreements, you will be 100% in control of your own beautiful life. Don't be concerned about the future. Keep your attention on today and stay in the present moment. So one thing that I learned when I was going through some of my therapy and stuff is that if you look at the past, it often triggers depression. And if you look at the future, it often triggers anxiety. So the best way to live is just in the present moment and that will give you the most fulfillment out of life.